We are back with another best bets video for March 31st. Today is Easter, so happy Easter to everyone. Uh, we got a full slate of baseball going today on Easter, so excited for that. Um, but before we get into today's slate, let's take a look at what happened yesterday with our four plays. First, we had Aaron Nola over five and a half strikeouts. As we can see from the box score, Nola got roughed up a bit. Four and a third innings, 12 hits, seven runs, one walk, two homers, and, and had three strikeouts with 83 pitches thrown. So definitely not Nola's best start ever. Um, he's typically pretty dominant against most teams, but... The Braves lineup is pretty legit. The Braves are the favorite to win the World Series this year, starting before the season. And uh, I don't know, R Nola had a rough first go at it. So we'll just chalk this one up to bad luck and we'll keep on moving. Our second play was Cutter Crawford under five and a half strikeouts. Unfortunately, as you can see, he went six innings, had three hits, given up one run, which was unearned. Gave up one walk and had seven strikeouts. Funny enough, going into the sixth inning, Cutter had four strikeouts. So we were looking good for under five and a half. But he did strike out the side to uh, get to seven. So that one was a bit unfortunate. But nothing we can do there. Just another kind of bad luck play. So we'll just have to keep moving. Then for our third play of the day, we had Yusei Kikuchi under five and a half strikeouts. He ended up with four strikeouts and four and a third innings. He gave up six hits, three earned runs, three walks, and one home run. Uh, this was our lone winner from the day. So as you can tell, we're one and two right now with one more play left. That one did lose. We'll get to that in a second. But Kikuchi was able to get us a winner. And let's hope we have a little bit better luck on today's play. Then our last one is Patrick Corbin. It was over four and a half. He ended up with... Two and four and a thirds, gave up seven hits, four runs, one walk, two homers. Only threw 69 pitches because he didn't have the greatest outing. Again, bit of a theme with Nola's and Corbin's. Both pitchers didn't pitch well, didn't come close to their lines. So we'll, again, chalk that up to bad luck and we'll move on to today's plays. So similar to yesterday, we have four plays going today. The first one will be Carlos Carrasco over four and a half going up against the A's. The model has him projected at about six strikeouts. The line's four and a half and his odds are only minus 125. I think that's pretty good value considering he is about a strikeout and a half projected over his line. And the odds are a bit low at minus 125. I would expect with this line and similar uh, differences in the past couple days those lines have been in the minus 150 minus 160 range so pretty good value here at minus 125 for our first play our second play is going to be michael king going up against the giants his line is five and a half we're going to be going with the under at plus 110 he's projected at 4.62 strikeouts about four and a half strikeouts good value play here plus odds on this under uh it's almost a strikeout under his line, so we're going to go with the under and rock with the plus odds on this one. Our third play is Nick Martinez going up against the Nationals. His line's four and a half. He's projected at about 3.7 strikeouts, similar to Michael King. This one is also plus, 10, plus 110, so we're going to be going with the under here. It's a good value play with his strikeouts being about one under the projected line. So we'll uh, we'll go with the plus 110 and we'll move on to our last play. Our last play is going to be Kevin Gossman going up against the Rays. We're going to take his over. The line is at five and a half. I have him projected at 6.95 strikeouts. So we'll round that up to seven. And the over is minus 135. Similar to the Carrasco line. He's about a strikeout and a half above the line. And the odds are only at minus 135. They should be about minus 150, minus 160-ish. So in terms of value, it's a good play. And I do like Gossman in this spot against the Rays. He's got some good, nasty stuff. Should be pretty dominant, hopefully, against going up against the Rays. And I'd like him to have some success here in this spot. Looking at these four plays parlayed together, we get odds of plus 1282, which isn't too shabby. I definitely like these four plays. We need a bounce back after yesterday. So let's go 4-0 today. Let's cash a parlay, and let's get right after yesterday's struggle. 